Hi, I'm Skyler with Hammer in Hand, and I'm just going to talk for a few minutes about the blower door test that uh, we just completed. Uh, this is our second blower door test of the project. Uh, the first blower door test we performed uh, right after we installed our windows. Uh, we had our exterior air barrier in place. Um, our windows were, for the most part, sealed. Uh, now we've gone around the outside of the building with three layers of exterior foam and we've uh, done some of the flashing details around our windows uh, and so we wanted to do one last test before uh, we did the insulation inside the cavities here. Uh, we're going to be coming through over the next week and uh, dense packing cellulose in these um, stud cavities. Uh, we added some, since our last blower door test, we've added some penetrations to the envelope. We uh, ducted our HRV through and we added some plumbing penetrations and so uh, we wanted to just get one final test to be sure everything was good before we insulated. Uh, Ryan with Earth Advantage was here today um, and he performed a multi-point blower door test that uses a software that's included with the Minneapolis equipment and uh, you can see this blower door is a little smaller than your average uh, blower door. We've got a special shroud here that Minneapolis can provide uh, that allows us to use the duct blaster that we would normally use in a traditional house to test the, the ducts for their air tightness. Uh, this building shell is tight enough as are most passive houses. You Even for a, a commercial passive house, you can probably get away with just having a small blower door um, that's actually duct blaster in your toolkit. Um, we also, because the building is a little tighter and it's really sensitive if people actually go through uh, a door during the test, um, it'll really cause a lot of pressure on the door frame. So we used um, two of these cross braces to help keep it in place and then we're really uh, make sure we're real careful about getting the seal here because when you get into these low um, leakage rates that a passive house has, you can um, you know, lose considerable leakage around the door and then also around the shroud of the fan, we try to make sure that's tight. But you know, the door is never gonna be perfect, uh, but we do our best to keep it tight. Um, the blower door, a typical blower door test that you do uh, is at about 50 pascals and that's simulating approximately a 20 mile an hour wind on every side of the house. Uh, today's test was one that is a, a, a multi-point test and so we tested at 65 pascals all the way what, down to 14 pascals and we stepped down 5 pascals each time and we got a pressure reading. Uh, and then the software, um, we do that on a depressurization where we suck air out of the house and then we do it with a pressurization where we bring air into the home and uh, the, the software is able to uh, take an average of all those points and uh, this blower door test, uh, which is still our preliminary test, we still have insulation and drywall to do and some additional tightening up. Um, but we were at 0.44 um, ACH50, and the passive house standard is 0.6, so we're in, in the safe zone, so we're, we're feeling confident to go ahead with our insulation and uh, drywall. And uh, then we'll be coming back for the, uh, the final blower door um, at closeout of the house.